Did you move that? I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we thought maybe it, they, yeah. they could hear a little better. I don't know. Does that sound a little bit better? Well, now? yeah, that's better. That's okay. much better. All right. We moved the microphone a little bit closer. Yeah, it's it's still a little choppy, but we can we can certainly hear you better than before. One of those free microphones you get from Amazon for all the purchases we make. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> we'll be we do have a quote for some new AV stuff to work on mics for this year, so great. So I'm gonna run around like a chicken with my head cut off. Well, it's it's good. seven o'clock. We can call it to order unless you want to say something else. I do not. We're good. Okay. Let's call the meeting to order tonight. Uh, I'll take roll call first. And those of you that are remote, you know, please uh, try to pay attention and, and let us know uh, when if you're here and what you, if you want to talk about anything. We can accommodate anything. I think tonight. Uh, Matt Blackburn. Uh, I'm I'm here. Steve Esposito. Here. Tony Rossi. Here. Christian Gass. Excused. Is excused. Um, I'm James Joyce. I'm here. Uh, Kate Dearson. Here. Uh, Scott Fodi, our borough manager's here. Excuse. And we don't have a council liaison, do we? Not today, no. Okay. And Bianca's with us and taking the minutes for, for the meeting. Uh, first order of business is I hope everybody had the chance to review the previous meeting minutes. Steve and I are here in person, so we'll, uh, we're looking at hard copies now. If you don't have a copy, um, they look good to me, but I'll, I'll, um, I'll, Steve, did you see anything you'd like corrected? Only if, in fact, we did mention at the end of the meeting that this month's meeting would be today versus the 23rd. I don't remember that, but. I don't know, Matt or Tony, do you remember, did, did we decide we didn't want the meeting to be December 23rd and we moved it up till tonight? I don't remember. I, I don't remember that, but I may have. I may just not be remembering. I, I don't remember it either, which is why I'm here remotely too. I didn't didn't have this on my calendar this evening, so uh, I don't recall that. Doesn't mean it wasn't brought up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I um I, I almost thought it was when we did Thanksgiving. We moved Thanksgiving, and we said, "Well, Christmas could be the same thing. We'll just move it." We may have actually decided that. October. Yeah, it might have been October. Yeah, that that you that very well may have been. Yeah, I may yeah. have forgotten. But either way, I'll take a motion to um, approve the minutes as written. I need I'd a second, second that. All those I'll in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks. And the meeting the meeting minutes are correct as written. Thank you, Bianca. Um, any correspondence come in this week? Nothing beyond what you have in your email I sent today. Um, well, we, we did receive this uh, revised letter from the uh, borough that's, engineer. That's, 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 part of, that's part of the conversation of the Southern Plan, yes. Okay, okay. Um, so nothing else than that. Um, well, then we can jump to new business because we do have a, a visitor here that wanted to make a possibly a presentation or ask answer questions. Um, the only the only thing I see is is if anybody has an agenda in front of them, they're listing it as as the address is five two two Fourth Street lot line revision. It's actually five two five. It's actually yeah five two five two three and five two five. Right, yeah. right. The title sheet for the plan. the name of the plan. Okay, so now I'm looking at we have a plan drawing. Basically, it, it, it appears if you were able to look at the plan drawing that there's a there's a lot two R that is is giving. 20 feet, well, more than that square footage, but 20 feet, they're moving a lot line about 20 feet for, to lot one. So do you want to tell us what's what's going on? It's pretty confusing when you first look at the drawing. It is. Um, so uh, thank you for hearing me. Uh, I'm representing the owner of 523 as uh, our attorney is my brother, Chris. Okay. And then uh, family uh, group owns 525, which I am also part of. Okay. So basically, this is an old church. It was purchased back in the 1980s and converted to a uh, apartment building. Uh, in the purchase was also the parsonage. 
and the parsonages was 523. And um, the 523 has been recently renovated and been put up for sale. When we went to put in the information on the lot, uh, discovered it seemed very short and then investigating further, it, uh, we found out that the back 20 feet actually owned to the church. So the 20 feet we're talking about has been fenced since the mid 1980s and included this. And if you include the 20 feet, it also matches up with the three houses going to the south, their lot lines. Um, I don't know why it was done this way. I could not find anything in the original approval or anything like that, that it was done that way on purpose. Uh, my real feeling is it was probably done in 1928 when the church built the parsonage. And it's just remained this way since then. Uh, but. Uh, both as you're physically in the backyard, it makes more sense for it to line up with the neighboring properties and makes it more of a conforming lot. The church is a non-conforming lot any way you cut it. So overall, it seems like a good way to make it less um, out of the ordinary for both properties. Right. I'm, I'm looking at the drawing and, and everything that Tim said does make perfect sense when you look at the yeah, this drawing. One, this one might help a little bit more. It's a little, uh, it, it, it actually was hard to believe that, that that 20 feet, 20 feet by 38 feet wasn't part of, of that lot to begin with. Yes, right. Yeah. It, it doesn't, doesn't really make any sense. It would make a much better property for both 523 and 525. And a fence has existed for 40 plus years if you went straight. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only other thing that, um, well, actually, that's good. Um, I wanted to make sure that the owner of 523 has the opportunity to uh, review this drawing in great detail and sign off on it. And I see he's the first thing. Yes, yes, he's signed. So that makes perfect sense. Yes. Um, and it, it's all family related to it. Does anybody have any questions for Tim? I, I have a couple things that I, I was found curious. Um, the lot, what, what the lot is called lot one, and it's also given a parcel number too. And, and lot two R. Do those does that mean anything? Are they they're they're being broken away from the parcels that end in you know like the D number? I, I don't know of any reason why that is. I, mean, I, I think that was just randomly chosen by the surveyor when he was doing the drawing. That oh, okay. Why is that part of the original? Subdivision. Yeah. yeah, I think he would probably just take whatever he found. Okay, because um, underneath the title of the drawing, it says transferring a portion of lot two in the plan lots to lots described in the depot point. And, and then he, there is no lot two, it's two dash R. So I don't know if that, I don't want that to trip up anybody, okay. if that matters. I mean, maybe you want to look at this very carefully before everybody signs off, if that would matter. Okay. That's underneath the, the name where, of the drawing. Where, where, where does it say that? Right underneath the name of the drawing. It says 524 4th Street Lot Line Revision Plan. Then he's got a, a sentence explaining what's going on. Okay. Transferring a portion of Lot 2 in the FRF Plan of Lots. And it's, he, ha he has it labeled 2-R on the drawing. Okay, what I'll do is I, I will email him in the morning and if he thinks it's material. If, if it's significant, yeah. it, it doesn't bother me really at all. I just, I don't want it to trip you up later or anybody up later. It doesn't gotcha, make sense. gotcha, I appreciate that. And then under the area tab, um, those, that, that lot one area and lot two R area, those are the revised numbers. That makes sense. You know, they, they, they subtract it off the, 20 feet by 38 feet, and they subtracted it off the parcel numbers. And now, so that, that was confusing to me. It, these are like the revised areas. Um, I, I did the math just now, yeah. Maybe I'm not quite following where you're at. Here. In the very middle of the drawing, it says area tab. There's a boxed out area with with, with uh, areas in square feet and acres. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the, the first two are like deed book numbers, you know, like 00186, that parcel, and 00189. 
So those are the original parcels. And then if you subtract out the area that's being given, they corrected those parcels. One got bigger, one got smaller. Mm -hmm. And that makes sense. Why, don't, why aren't they just called like revised parcel number or, or lot one area before and lot one area after or something? It's, well, I think that's the next table down below. No, that's all. Okay. That's all zoning regs. I, I get. I'm not familiar with the way the people do subdivisions and, and surveyors make drawings. Maybe this makes perfect sense to someone else, but it was. I would assume it, that it was pretty. Yeah, I, I would too. I, I guess. Yeah, you could just ask those questions. Ask the guy if it makes perfect sense, because he's mixing these terms lot one and lot two are, with the parcel numbers and. and Right, why didn't he keep the parcel numbers there? Yeah, it, it, it doesn't really matter to me. I think it's fine. It's gonna be a significant improvement as a subdivision, so I'm all in favor of it. Um, do we need to make any kind of decision or a motion to accept or anything like that? Sure, or what, so what? I don't know, um, or is this just for our information? The subdivision? Yeah. It's a recommendation of Borough Council for a lot later. Okay. Yes. Well, then I need a, uh, I'll need a, um, a motion to recommend the acceptance of this subdivision uh, plan as presented to um, the planning commission. Would somebody make that motion for me? I would make the motion. I need a second. second. Yes. Sir. <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So we will make that recommendation. Thank you. Where was that person? Here, I'll give you this. This, oh, right there. We're okay. Right. And then these two things. Yeah, I got that. That's confusing yeah. me. What's, this is the before and this is the after. Gotcha. So you can have that. Okay, thank you. But Appreciate your time. Either way, I, need, I don't want anything to create a problem later because no, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't look at those a great deal, so. Just, just for the record, London Smith did the initial pay review, which you may have seen, Tim, if they forwarded it to you. Yes. Very minor comments about existing conditions. We wrote a second letter this evening back to the survey of record, saying everything was fine and recommended the approval. This plan has the flood rotation on it? It does. Yes. It, it, yeah, but yeah, if yeah. you look really carefully, it's on there. I can't see this. It is better. Better. <laughs> under general, I think under general notes, the, the comment under general notes covers the floodplain. Yeah, it, it's on there. He added it. So they meet all the conditions that the, the pro engineer suggested. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, good luck with that, Tim. All right. Have a good, good night. Have a happy holiday. You too. See you, Tim. Lennon Smith, that's the name. Lennon Smith Solar, yes. Yeah, okay. So LSSD went, went right over my head. I well, that, guess. As other established engineering firms in the region, there are any of those, all four of those names no longer on the firm. Oh, uh, okay. Because okay. they kept the letters. Okay. So we're the RSSC, which is Ross Saunders, and Kupchak, the architectural firm. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew them as Lennon Smith. I knew who they were. I, when you said it, I knew, I knew who you met. I, I say Lennon Smith that everyone looks to me like I'm okay. talking about a third year. Okay. Well, actually, we don't really have uh, any old, any more new business. We did have old business, but without Christian here to explain what what went on, maybe Scott can inform us. But our our objective member was to give him any kind of comments we could by Thanksgiving, so he could get it cleaned up by EPD and in front of council soon. We did. Um, he did complete all the editorial changes that he presented at the last planning commission meeting. We posted that version on the borough's website. Again, it, the, the highlight of that revision included identifying things that had occurred. Hope Road, the Hope Bridge was repaired, built. Other, other Edgewater was constructed at the point of construction. Edgewater was completed, that type of deal. Yeah. Um, I talked to Carolyn and Christian Ryan in the email thread. We did send a copy digitally to the county to initiate that review process. Okay. Um, I said hey, anything of substance, we'll send another revision for you. But it, mostly right now, we're looking at grammar and spelling. Uh, Christian, Carol, and I are going to meet over the phone tomorrow. And, Chris, and Carol is going to make her final presentation to council on the twentieth, which is Monday. Okay. At that point, council will do the, if we believe, take the official action to accept the plan and trade. Uh,
Um, so hopefully mo most of us gave Christian whatever we could think of that would improve the plan or markups and things like that. I don't know if anybody's had any thoughts since then or didn't get their zine in time and still has revisions or markups they'd like to. Um, it sounds like if, if there are possible cleanup of typos and, and spelling or something like that, there's still a chance to do minor, some minor corrections to it. If there were, we'll review them with the solicitor and see if we need to resubmit another version. So okay. And okay. ultimately, when it's approved and published, we'll give the county a hard copy for their file. Okay. Am I right, Kate? Okay, well, um, that kind of wraps up that topic. Uh, you know, we'll be on pins and needles to see if, if how it goes over on December 20th. I, I, think, it'll be, I think it'll be fine. Um, the, the, the voice of counsel is, you know, they're, they're happy with the way it's been going, progressing, and they're ready to take action forward to the county for formal. Okay, so you, you, you've heard that from other council members. We, we, heard we, we did have one council member that thought that, you know, that it needed a lot of work and, and we didn't do a lot of work. We made, we just cleaned it up so it was easier to follow what was new and what was not new. The end of the little information I have is, is it's fine. There are, there's a, there's the global concept of what a comprehensive plan is and how it's written. Right. Okay. So we'll go from there. All right. Well, that's, that's all we really have on the agenda. Is it, did anything else? Come in that we should talk about, or does anybody have anything that you want to get off their chest while we while we're all gathered here? Otherwise, we, we're going to enjoy the meeting pretty soon. Real quickly, uh, this is the last meeting of the year on on plan commission. Jamie's term is up. He has asked to extend his term one additional term of what four or five years. So we'll be putting that in front of council at the reorganization meeting on the third of January. It won't be four or five years. Whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> you're, asking, uh, you're staying on. As well. Yes, yeah. you're staying on. Um, so that's the only activity from the plank, which is standpoint for reorganization. I hate to bring this up, but I'm still unclear on what we decided to do with the Libra property. We didn't decide. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sometimes no decision is a decision. Well, you had two we, options. We, 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 Kind of, I don't know if we ever told him this or inferred, but um, we didn't feel like we needed to make a decision until he had a use or wanted to do something with the property. That essentially was, I, I took that and conveyed it to Mr. Lieber. I said, you'll, you will, you'll be more, you'll have more receptive, more receptive um, planning commission if they had an idea of what you wanted to do there, as opposed to just outright rezoning the parcel. He took that idea with him and, and was going with He's kind of, he accepted the industry's that part. I, I said, I said the carp launch rezoning is just not something that they were agreeable to. And I, I'm thinking the planning commission, but if you actually had a plan in place that was a sketch plan to start with the conversation, they'd be certainly uh, willing to listen to it. Okay, that's an acceptable resolution to me as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, he found it to be acceptable. He was, he was very pessimistic until I explained it to him that way and uh, turned optimistic rather quickly. So. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it, it wasn't like we were rejecting him. We didn't know what we wanted to do, and we weren't sure. You know, we, we said we were going to look into it some more. If, if I may, planning commission as a whole, we're not going to do a carpet launch rezoning of two pieces of property. Yeah. But you would definitely be invested in looking at something if you had an idea behind it. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah, I mean, I would certainly be more open to, to hearing if I knew exactly what he was going to do with it. I mean, I just think that that's a reasonable... Uh, that, I, I don't think that's an unreasonable um, ask. Okay, but good question. Yeah. yeah. Close the year down. It, it is one of those things hanging out there, right? right. Yeah, it is. Well, sure. we'll, we'll have the minutes reflect that, Bianca, so that we have that as a, a bookend for the year. I like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if you need to help Bianca with some wording there, uh, you know. The yeah, what, what exactly would you like that to say? We'll figure it out after. We'll talk to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we also, I don't think the intent of anyone here is just to leave them hanging. No, it wasn't. Yeah. And, and we sort of felt like we were. Yeah. 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 We, we kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have anything else? I have nothing. I don't either, actually. That's it Hope for me. Hope everybody has good holidays. 
and gets together with family and friends and has good health as well these days. Otherwise, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Tony and Steve. Tony and Steve. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. All right. 7:22, Bianca. We're adjourning. Yeah, Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Happy Thank care. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Merry Year. <laughs> Bye.